Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verses 1 through 13, where it is written. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the traditions of the elders, and they do not eat anything from the market, market unless they wash it. There are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and brown kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the traditions of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, Their people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandments of God and hold to human tradition. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandments of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of father and mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you might have, have had for me is korban, that is, an offering to God, then you no longer permit anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you've handed on. And you do many things like this. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So here, our Lord calls out the religious leaders for, um, shall we say, going through the forest to get to the tree. They say they want to serve God. Oh, we serve God by all of our religious rituals we've had as part of our culture. And Jesus is like, yeah, you do the rituals. But are you really doing what you're supposed to be doing? Because look, the scripture says... Honor your father and your mother. And through your um, rituals, through your systematic theology, you've done kung fu on the text to get to say what you wanted to say. You're going through doing these mental gymnastics to get around what the Bible actually teaches. And he says, come on, guys. Don't play these games with me. Follow God. And it's not just the Pharisees. And I'll say this, it's not just Catholics, it's not just Orthodox or Protestants. Every Christian in the world struggles with this. For there's no such thing as being just Christian, as being a Bible Christian. Because the Bible didn't just fall down out of the sky into our hands. The church, with its history and its tradition, collected the Bible and gave it to us. Everyone has a tradition. It's impossible to read the Bible without having a lens on it. So what Jesus is condemning here is a tradition, for we all have them. Oh, we all have traditions. What he's condemning is when people take the tradition and do kung fu on the Bible so they can get around doing what it says. Everyone does this. I mean, Jesus can be very simple sometimes. You know, love God, love your neighbor. The commandments can be simple. Honor your father and your mother. And of course, the Pharisees, in their time, did Kung Fu in the Bible to get it to say what they want. So they found ways around loving God and loving others. They found ways around, say, honoring their parents, the example here. The Pharisees did this. And so can modern-day Catholics, Protestants, and Orthodox. Every Christian struggles with this. The solution? Realize, yes, we have a tradition. There's nothing wrong with having a tradition. It certainly acknowledge the way the tradition shapes the way we view the scriptures. But realize, tradition is a means to an end. It's not an end to itself. Look, I love the Catholic Church. I love the Orthodox Church. I love their attachment to history and the traditions that they have. But I realize... Tradition itself, traditions in and of itself is not God. God speaks to us in his word. God comes to us in Jesus Christ and tells us, you're forgiven. You are my child. Join me in what I'm doing in this world. Love God and love your neighbor. That is the basics of the gospel. That's all we really need to know. 
and he has some very beautiful tradition that adds commentary to it. The lesson? Don't get things out of order. Tradition is not God in and of itself. Jesus Christ is God. His gospel of love, mercy, and forgiveness, uh, eternal life to all, that is what it's about. Tradition can be helpful. And tradition can be helpful. Tradition itself will never be God. Let us close with prayer. God, we thank you for our forebearers in the faith who have brought us the scriptures and made themselves great examples of you. Help us, God, to listen to the word you transmitted to us through them and to listen to their example, Lord, to listen to you and not be overcome by a tradition, but Lord, always have you as God. Amen.